Pan Am Flight 103. Pan Am Flight 103. Semtext. Pan Am Flight 103. Let's see what this is all about. Death over Lockerbie. Wow, wow, wow. We're going into Libya, I believe. Wow, wow, wow. Card number 16. Death over luckery. Investigations into who placed plastic explosives on Pan Am Flight 103, which blew up over Luckerbie, Scotland, on December 21st, 1988, killing all 259 people on board, are still ongoing. But the tragedy is widely thought to have been a terrorist attack on a U.S. target. At various times, at various times, stories have surfaced implicating Syrian President Assad, Libya's Col Colonel Gaddafi, Iran's Ayatollah Khomeini, and Palestinian terrorist Ahmed Jibril. In 1990, the DEA looked into claims that one of its agents had smuggled explosives on board, believing it to be a heroin shipment, part of an undercover sting operation. In Interpol, an anti-terrorist consulting firm which undertook an investigation for Pan Am's insurance carrier, concluded that the CIA was warned that a bomb had possibly been loaded onto the plane in Frankfurt, Germany, but allowed the flight to continue to protect the heroin shipment by Manzer al Khazar, a Syrian arms and drugs smuggler who had successfully negotiated a May 1989 swap of arms for French hostages. al Khazar had earlier received 1.5 million from Iran Contra figures, figures Richard Secord and Albert Hakim for providing 100 tons of arms for the Contras. The Interpol report named Army Major Carl's Mackey as heading an eight member CIA team in Beirut who, while trying to uh, trying to do, 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 trying to gain release of CIA hostages had uncovered other CIA agents protecting Al Qasr's drug pipeline in hopes that he would aid them. Mackey's team planned quote to bring the evidence back to the U.S. to inform the government and to publicize their findings if the government covered it up end quote at least five and possibly all eight of Mackey's team were aboard flight 103 when it crashed what hold on we got to read that again the interfall for report named army major Charles Mackey as heading an eight member CIA team in Beirut who, while trying to gain release of U.S. hostages, had uncovered other CIA agents protecting al Qasar's drug pipeline in hopes that he would uh, he would aid them. Mackey's team planned, quote, to bring the evidence back to the U.S. to inform the government and to publicize their findings if the government covered it up, end quote. At least five and possibly all eight of Mackey's team were aboard flight 103 when it crashed oh my god i know a little bit about this I, i'm not gonna say what i've heard what i read about this this stuff was coming out way back when where they were trying to blame Gaddafi for the bombing and Gaddafi took the rap for it for a deal that he cut where the western government said that he they would not try to overthrow him as long as he took blame for the Pan Am flight and he take he did take blame for the Pan Am flight right so Western governments made the Libyan government Gaddafi the Patsies for Pan Am flight this thing is revealing a little bit of information that I never heard about 
Wow, wow, wow. Holy Kamoli. Pana Flight 103. Oh, if these weren't trading cards, uh, this would probably not go on sensor tube. But they are trading cards from a comic book company. And they're going to go on sensor tube. 